Good morning, everyone. Moloeni. Samponani. Jambo. Can anyone hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, thank you, thank you, colleague. Thank you, friends, for uh, this uh, first workshop on data for our family, for our consortium, Sickle in Africa. Unfortunately, we are not able to have this gathering um, face to face or uh, in person as we all have preferred uh, because of the overchanging uh, COVID uh, restriction. Uh, we are very happy to host you here, but it, may, it might be not be possible for you to go back or, and the reverse is true uh, because of all the requirements that are linked to COVID to the COVID testing and, and, and traveling. So, but we, we hope to be able to uh, catch up with an in-person meeting uh, as we have the regulation in, in our favor. Uh, I think by, by this time, most people know each other, but uh, I'll introduce myself again. My name is Amroas Wonkam. I'm Métis from Cameroon. I'm professionally from the University of Cape Town. I work as professor of medical genetics. Uh, in this consortium, my role is being the director of PI of Sickle Africa Data Coordinating Center. So it's in that role that I will have the pleasure and the privilege to represent my colleague that have pulled the work that we have the, pre the honor to lead uh, together. Uh, we have a mission within SADAC to develop and to enhance and to provide a comprehensive environment uh, that will allow an integrated data capacity to su support a sustainable uh, research and healthcare on sickle cell disease on the continent. Uh, what makes us work out every single morning is to increase innovative uh, data-driven and African-led research to improve the quality of care and the quality of life of sickle cell disease patient in Africa and beyond Africa. We live in this place, uh, the University of Cape Town at the slope of uh, Table Mountain. And uh, we have the possibility to uh, run uh, uh, successfully this award for the past five years now because of the experience accumulated over numerous uh, uh, NIH funded uh, grant and also the asset, uh, exceptional asset of the University of Cape Town. Uh, the colleague that may help us support it, like a colleague from the Clinical Research Center, you're going to meet Annemie Stewart soon, or uh, my uh, multiple PI, Dr. Nikki Mulder, Professor Mulder, that have been running H3 Bionet. But the SADAC also benefited from an extensive network of the sickle cell ontology that is far beyond uh, the border of our continent. And that includes many colleagues from Europe and many colleagues from Africa. And hopefully we will have colleagues from uh, India and we have colleagues from America and Latino America, specifically Brazil. Um, Think there's something distracted me now. Uh, let me move to my next slide. I must say that uh, Sickle in Africa and SADAC specifically also evolved from interaction with other uh, sister network on the continent. And one I would like to single here is SADAC or is a REDAC for Réseau de Tutela de Reconocitos en Afrique Centrale that is led by Leon Achilolo a very active network, specifically in the part of Africa where French is one of the languages. Um, unfortunately, this network have not always been able to successfully secure uh, international funding and maybe language might be also a, a barrier, one thing that we probably need to pay attention to. Uh, SADAC work in collaboration with uh, uh, what was called Sparco before, uh, and uh, the coordinating center, uh, the clinical center now is still Sparco to some extent, but it's, it's, it's easier to call it uh, the CCC. 
And we initially started with three countries, as you all know, and now we have extended to three more and probably a seven if we include uh, Zambia. But beyond this uh, country within sickle in Africa, we do have collaboration with many other uh, African countries listed here. And those collaboration will happen either within uh, the network of the uh, sickle ontology or other collaborative network such as uh, the, the bioinformatic network, the H3 Bionet. For example, our colleague from Tunisia are mostly part of this network because of H3 Bionet. These are the overall aims. Uh, you have seen this before, but I always like to uh, recall it because it's the way we can work well uh, together. We have five M5 aims that across, uh, across four major terms, standard of care, tools and services, ethical, legal, and social implication, training and research. Our first objective is, uh, first of all, to provide a coordination and administrative support to our network, to Sickle in Africa. Our second objective that is important to this gathering today is to ensure and maintain an electronic database on sickle cell disease and to provide data management, as well as providing expertise for implementation research as the fourth objective. And uh, we have a set of metrics and milestones that allow us to check that what we promise we will do is what we are actually doing. In terms of uh, governance, uh, we uh, respond to the steering committee uh, that initially in the last phase, the exco was made of PI of Spark One, SADAC and the NIH, but now uh, it's a combination of all PIs plus NEXCO uh, at the top, that is just uh, the PI and the uh, CCC and GCC uh, PIs and the NIH. We have a set of advisor on the uh, left-hand side of your screen. Uh, many of whom have been in the network for a very, very long time. And we also have a set of patient uh, support uh, from the right-hand side that are critically important to reshape our research objective and the way also we want to implement it on a very equitable way and also in the way that will really respect the real needs of our patient on the continent. Uh, this is the people that work within SADAC and uh, their faces. You will have the opportunity to meet uh, most of them there have been some changes uh, for this phase. For example, we have a co-investigator, Professor Alashle uh, from uh, Nigeria, from Abuja, that will help us uh, support uh, the developing a bio repository. Uh, this is probably the time and the right place to uh, pay a second of silence uh, for uh, our lead developer, Dr. Gaston Mazandu. Uh, that have been a central pillar for the development of the database for which we will be um, focusing in the next few days. Thank you. Uh, the other member of the SADAC team are here. You will have the opportunity to meet them uh, as we work together. Within the objective of the coordination, we also want to develop a public and uh, internal website that are very operational. And I'm sure you have the opportunity to visit our website. We facilitate the communication by, by various means, including online communication, like the meeting that we are doing now, all the other uh, ways of communication are listed on the screen, and each of them have some metrics uh, based on uh, the previous phase that we have done. Uh, our website looks like this, and our website is ever changing. So every single suggestion is welcome for us to imp for improvement. The last we checked was uh, the patient engagement was a new uh, item on the website. And I think there have been many other changes uh, since uh, this one. And we used to have a very friendly in-person uh, consortium meeting across uh, Africa. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the latest one last year happened uh, in the way we are doing it now uh, in uh, what is called a virtual and in-person way uh, across site. 
we really hope to move away from this uh, very quick and go back to what we uh, do best, which is a social gathering and professional uh, gathering. Uh, among, alongside the coordination objective, we have developed a series of standard operating uh, procedure and guidelines that are available, uh, freely downloadable on our website. And one of the main objective of the three-day workshop that we have today is to improve uh, the standard operating procedure uh, and uh, to store them in a way that are better accessible if they needs be. Beside the coordination and administration, the second objective of SADAC is uh, the database. Uh, one of the reasons we are here, as I said today, and the development of the database started uh, with the development of uh, sickle cell disease ontology. Most of the sites have been part of it, including the new site. Uh, and the, the ontology, of course, is a controlled vocabulary that we hope will allow fostering collaboration within the continent, across the continent. And this project has been a success based on the work of people like Jay, that he will speak to you soon, of people like Gaston and all the curator and all the contributors of each of the working group across the globe that have allowed us to have this uh, tremendous uh, instrument that is probably one of the best legacy of SADAC uh, and the sickle uh, and the uh, ontology network uh, for sickle cell disease research uh, globally. Uh, this is a, the, a unique set of uh, control vocabulary for sickle cell. Some of the terminology was uh, used for the very first time for uh, the global community, at least introduced for the global community with specific sickle cell disease ontology IG. Um, and this, we are at the moment is more than 1,400 data elements. I remember having an ontology is not just uh, to look good, it's also a, a way to allow a database that makes sense, that can be replicable in all parts of the world, uh, because we will refer to the very same te terminology with a specific reference code that can be checked and that can be upgraded and improved all at the time. And the, the having an ontology allow an immediate application for health in the way that it will allow the development of an integrated database. It will, it will allow the integration of the database across site. It will allow the data element that we will all select one of the objective of this workshop to be findable, accessible, and portable and reusable. Uh, the terminology called FAIR, that is very, uh, uh, that you will hear more from, for example, Nikki Mulder when she speaks to what are the critical elements to judge uh, data. When we have the data available, when we have a, uh, a database, when we have databases across site, we now need to manage them. One of the objectives of SADAC is to improve uh, data management. And uh, one of the uh, software that we use is RedCap, and uh, Mr. Sanemi Stewart will introduce you to that. And one of the main objectives of this workshop is to have the RedCap fully operational, specifically in the site where it is not yet operational. We, we, are, we are aware that some of the site, a new site, such as the one in Mali, were already using the RedCap. We will just uh, like to make sure that for those that were not using, they are introduced to it. And collectively, we use it in the very uh, same way. And uh, this is one of the things that Gaston gave to us, which is the way we can manage data in a very integrated way. The orange oval below is where the coordination center is sitting. And from that coordination center together, we're gonna organize a standardized data element. We had a set of data element in phase one, and we all now need to improve that set of data element by increasing some of the element, including some of the element that would be related to the type of research that we have all uh, collectively uh, uh, decide to do. And then this data element will be integrated into RedCap. It will be harmonized and checked within each of your site with collaboration of SADAC and collaboration of uh, Sparco. 
and we will have a, a date dashboard interface that will be the same for each of the sites. So like a recruitment and reporting dashboard uh, that will be centralized and that will be used by each of the site, but that will be also used by uh, uh, the data center uh, if they need to be to support various type of research. One addition to this phase will be a portal uh, for a bio specimen so that we will uh, all have the expertise from the bio repository that is led by Professor Alashley from Abuja, uh, a bio repository that have been there for the past 10 years because it's the bio repository developed within the network of H3 Africa. So working with uh, uh, Alashley will allow us to develop a similar portal in case we have sample that need to be trafficked across uh, the consortium in the phase uh, to come. We will use a laboratory uh, management system developed locally here called Baobab. It's a management system for which we are familiar. Actually, we use it in our own uh, group for our hearing payment uh, research. And of course, all the elements used in the management system uh, for the management of a bio sample will be also informed by the definition that are captured in the sickle cell disease ontology. So all the elements in this big schema come together. Actually, this is probably the most important schema of our work because each of the things that we do is captured on this schema. And the, the recruitment dashboard looks like this. Of course, this is what we have it since we check, and this can improve all the time. And it's based on that uh, dashboard on this recruitment asset that we now have uh, nearly 13,000 patients that are captured in uh, our hemoglobinopathy database from Tanzania, from Nigeria, and uh, from Ghana, and some of those numbers uh, cross site are presented on the right hand side of your screen. It's important to have the data, but the quality is critical. So we will have two level of check and one a quality report template that will be used for each of the site. And uh, this quality report template will be checked by your data person for each of the site and double check eventually by the CCC and check by a SADAC when the data arrive uh, in our uh, computer. And uh, there are critical elements to check these for these uh, data in terms of quality uh, insurance is the validity, is the accuracy and the consistency, is the integrity, the completeness, the timeliness, uh, and all those elements are what we will be looking for for data quality. Um, if you put a sheet in, you have sheet out, excuse me for my language. So we need to make sure that the data that we put in are as complete, as valid, as accurate, as consistent, as comp uh, integr uh, integ uh, with full integrity as much as we can. These are, this is one of the examples that we use in the previous phase uh, to uh, check that the system works and actually it works. And so for each of the data that we receive, we have this criteria to make sure that actually what we have in the computer is something that we can eventually use. In addition to this gathering that we have together, there will be some site visit in a similar way we did in the previous phase uh, with the data team, your data team for each of the site uh, with the support of our data team from uh, from uh, SADAC and from Sparkle, and to ensure that uh, each of the things that we agree today or we will agree after the four days is what we implement for each of the site. I will take you one example that changes after one of the site visit. The presence of our LC person, Cynthia, for example, allow us to automatically integrate ASEN for the recruitment, what we did not initially plan. So this site visit are important. And the site visit also allow to realize that some of the sites like in Ghana already have a management and data system that was not necessarily a red cap. We do not want to reinvent the wheel, but how to integrate what we are creating through red cap on the local system. Because ultimately the database and the registry created 
have to be used by the local health system long after this network is uh, completed. And uh, we have a LC support that work very closely with our patient uh, support and our patient partner, the way we, we call it, and uh, to improve uh, the integration of patient uh, in all the activity we want uh, to do together. Of course, every single input is important. Every single input on the way we do things, on the way we want to do things collectively, is important to continue doing as better as we can. These are some of the activity to put some of the uh, names. For example, the, the existence of this group allow us to create here in South Africa, a South African sickle cell disease uh, group, support group. The very same group allowed to develop some uh, sheet post uh, and the sickle cell disease facts that are distributed to our clinic uh, locally and above uh, here. Uh, to allow a more awareness for all doctors around the issue of sickle cell disease uh, patient. Uh, this is one of the group meeting in Abuja and below is one of the leader of uh, the South African uh, support group and uh, that have worked closely uh, to, with us to uh, author this paper in nature uh, that speak about his life and his expectation of what sickle cell disease should bring uh, to the fore of uh, the good of health and uh, quality of life of patient. And we hope to have helped some of the research uh, being performed in some of the site, and we hope to bring that expertise as much as we can uh, in a, a very collaborative way. And we are aware that there are numerous other manuscripts there that are underway. Our personal interest is on in genomics. So one of the things that we do besides working within uh, SADAC is to look up the genomic of sickle cell disease in various aspects of it. And uh, we are still around the data and the expertise provided for research have offered specifically with the help of Jack some big data analysis uh, training. And uh, this big data analysis uh, training happen in person uh, here in Cape Town, uh, at least at two occasions. And we hope that we will be able to do uh, the same as uh, the travel restriction uh, will evolve. And as part of a skill development, uh, we have organized also some writing workshop and some short training for genetic counseling uh, uh, within our network. And uh, we uh, hope to facilitate using uh, GitHub uh, some sharing across uh, our network. And now we are quite equipped uh, to do that uh, through a few specific uh, development that we have done recently. For example, we have workflow for different type of analysis. We have now a workflow for genome-wide association study that is now being used, for example, by at least two of our students uh, for their PhD. We have a workflow for a data cleaning and normality test. We have a workflow for linear regression, clustering and classification. And that means we don't have to think a lot when we have a set of data uh, or when we have a question uh, that needs to be asked using each of these, this workflow. Oh, it's, all, it's also allowed not to repeat things uh, because when uh, people have worked and improved this workflow as we go, it allow us to accelerate a research for each of our fellow, but also for research uh, across site. We are also working on developing application. This is one of the application uh, on pen that was developed by one of our fellow Wilson. And uh, this application is completed, is usable, and we hope to be able to use this application for tracking pen and tracking treatment and eventually expand it uh, for uh, specific research activity within uh, our consortium. And last year, one of the things that we have done in prevision of the increase of the country within the network is to increase our data storage capacity, our data support and capacity that is laid out this way. This includes both backup, some additional infrastructure, and some that are supported by us directly here, and some that are supported by each of the site. And we will be working with the new site uh, to improve uh, their capacity of stocking, uh, analyzing data, and having 
a appropriate backup uh, system uh, locally as uh, they go. And the last objective, of course, is to measure what we do. Uh, and uh, of course, measuring means uh, do, it, do it by year and do it uh, by objective and uh, do it by numbers. Uh, this is not intended for you to read, but we have an available measure for each of the objectives that we have laid out, the number of meetings we have organized, the number of patients in the database that we have, the number of standard operating procedure that we have, the number of training that we have uh, organized and so on, and the number of communication, even including the number of email that I was sent from Vicky's her office uh, to, each, for, to each of us. And uh, if it's not published, it doesn't exist. So we, we still think that each of the activity, including simple management, should be published. It should be available in the literature. It should be tractable. Uh, if we don't do that, we will, be, we will not be judged in the light that we want uh, to be judged. For the years to come, in terms of our activity, we have numerous things that we want to do and to track that are listed here, of course. There's no point reading it because we haven't yet achieved each of them or all of them. And uh, together, we hope to achieve uh, that. So I would like now to thank uh, you uh, for your kind attention and to remind you that we have three major objectives for these four days. The first is to improve our data element and to define together the set of data elements that we will use across the consortium and extend it particularly in Africa, including seven other countries, seven countries in, in total. Uh, we will, uh, a second, uh, ensure that um, the red cap is usable for each of the sites. And uh, in a very, very similar way, we will improve our standard operating procedure. Uh, those are the three major objectives around uh, this workshop. One thing that we would like to do is to accelerate and catch up with the new site that uh, was integrated in the network recently. So it is possible that we will have to accommodate special needs for the site that are incoming and help us doing that by laying uh, your desiderata uh, to people like uh, uh, Anemi in the in here, like uh, Mario, uh, to Vicky, uh, to Jade and uh, to Raphael so that we can uh, accelerate the integration of all the side uh, to the consortium. Uh, thank you very much, very much, and welcome again uh, to this uh, opening of uh, this four days workshop.